So I've just come back, Dame's taking the tubes off the, the ute. We're gonna put them on that dinghy over there. So that's the job this weekend. Welcome to Project Brewpack. Today, instead of working on a big trawler, we're working on a really little boat at one of our dinghies, our first one. This is just like the, the runabout to get back and forth to, you know, um, a wharf or something like that, um, transfer people to the boat really easily. Um, the other one's that more the expedition dinghy, and that's, that's going to be treated pretty roughly. So. so, today what we're doing is we're stripping off all the rubber off everything. Dane's going to take this little shelf out here. Um, it's just glued in, so we'll just hack it out. Um, and we might reuse that because I want to step over here so it's easier to step up onto the pontoons and that's what else we're going to do. Those pontoons over there are going to be, um, we're going to tighten them up, see what size we need to make them to fit in the back there. That'll determine the size of the roll um, and then we're going to yeah, fit them to this and um, then tidy it up. But you're nearly there. <laughs> so close. figure out what, how big the tubes are, eh? Why don't we size them now? Yeah. And then uh, then we start taking off the edges. So we've got to sand. Yeah, so we buzz the edge back. Yeah, and you're going to do that, the rolls, the... Yeah. Yeah, so we've got to, we've got to back, make yeah. the tube that diameter. So we have to yeah. figure out what that diameter is. But you'll be welding to that, so we've got to tidy that up. Yeah. Take the paint off there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So unlike the other one, the big one, which we're, we're taking straight back to um, aluminium, we want this just to, we're just taking enough paint off just to weld, so. Yeah. And then we'll just give it a clean. Yeah. Simple. Cool. I say simple now, but you know. <laughs> Hey, look at this. <laughs> Comes with um, vegetation. So bang, very simple. That fitting for the bung needs to be redone. Alright, put a new one in. I'm gonna leave this rubber on the bottom because it's 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 real tight, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, we'll just clean around there. So I'm trying to calculate what the diameter of this is by only having by only being able to use this measurement here, the, the segment of the circle. So I'm trying to basically take it, take this height, that depth, put it into a calculator, circle calculator, and it'll tell me what the diameter is. I wonder how straight that line is coming up the side there. I don't know. Like if straight, straight we'll find out soon. Yeah, because it looks like it's a slight angle. 301. 15 get a straight edge. Pretty straight that'll do. So you're taking two measurements? Yeah. 315 and 95. And let's keep the curve. Yep. 315. Right. So I don't know if you can see this on my screen, but this is a cord, what's called a cord calculator or a segment calculator. So you've got different um, different measurements. So S is so this this is our dinghy bottom, and these are our tube bits. Ugh, gross bit of goo. Um, that measurement from there to there is S, 
and the depth from there to there is h so equals h equals s so theoretically i should be able to put this in here so h is 95 millimeters we need to make these tubes physically smaller diameter so we're just going to use a ratchet strap and um, basically squeeze them in because it'll do it circular rather than bend it what was it? 33.4 centimetres. 334 millimetres. We're using these to crush it in, um, in a sphere. So if we, if we just bent it, it would turn into like a... An oval. A, an oval shape. So yeah. by doing this, it pulls it in round. We've got to keep it round. That's where the strength is. Um, 37 and a half. So 375 and I got I got 37. So come down a bit. Yeah. We've got to go down quite a bit, so maybe we'll just give it a ratchet and we'll get close. It's just uh, you got enough strength to do it? I think so. I've just realized I've got wobbly. Oh yeah, right. Take it on the outside of one? Just see if you can get a non-wobbly bit. Oh fucking hell. Okay. Yeah, it's all really wobbly. Uh, what about going... Yeah, you can do any direction. Just, oh, actually, that's probably roundish there, so go... There and there? Yeah, it's like that. So, I'll, oh, wow. I'll okay. ratchet it. And you... okay. What are you up to? Three, three, four. I'm three... No, oh, I'm three... Three, four, you're shut. Yeah, just do another half. Just, just stop, stop. you got to be careful that you're going through the centre line of the... Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm three, four, five. All right. Four, three. 340-ish. Oh. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry, I'm just going to do this end because this is probably a bit big now. I'm right on three, three, five now. Okay. All right, I'm a couple of centimeters away, so let me just crank this way up. Sorry, what, what were you on? 335. I've got one mil to do. Okay, I'm about to see the mirror away. Are you at your max, are you? Yeah, I might have this up. Three, four, five, and one centimeter off. I'm gonna come in two mil at this end, and I think three mil at your end. This end, for some reason, in the machine, got a bit of a wobble going on. And they, were, the guys, were thinking that it might be the quality of the metal, eh? Well, they're not. Yeah, they don't really know why it's done it. Um, so, it's five double oh five is the grade of aluminium. It's pretty close. I reckon we just roll with it. Yep. Um, <laughs> roll with it. And the, yeah, <laughs> and this is gonna be off cut, so it probably won't make any difference what we're doing anyway. Yeah. I'm just gonna tack it so it doesn't fly apart. Big. Oh, actually, if I do it like that, it's perfect. Look at that, look at that angle though. Ignore the angle. So what I'm thinking... How are you going to do that? This here was for, for um, inflatable pontoons, which didn't matter if it weren't, wasn't perfectly yeah, lined right. up. Yeah, right, they just sort of twist them But down. I can just slice that down there, take that little segment off, and then and then weld it down there on the inside. Yeah, that's okay. We don't have to... I'm going to put this down because it's awkward. Yeah, you're going to adjust the boat rather than... Yeah, I'll the adjust pipe. the boat. Um, yeah, yeah. What's it called though, yeah? Rather than the tube, I'll adjust the boat. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get this welded up so that we can um, let the straps off. Look at 
need to stand on it. Closer you can get to that, move this foot in. That's good, all right. Ready? Hang on, just one sec. No worries, no worries, tell me when you're ready. Okay, yep. We need to do that to all three, so we get all the tubes the same diameters. You can see by the way we're treating these rolls. <laughs> uh, we're not worried about a few scratches. The method works really well. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, okay, I just got to get the other one on before I twist it too much. That's a bit wobbly, eh? Yeah. So, three, three, four. Three, three, five. One mil off. G'day, guys, how you going? Good. You're lost. No, 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 we're just off the boat, so we can have a look. There, where it's landing. Look, you can see it. There. That's bloody close though. There. Yeah, yeah, no, Can you see it. the line? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is where they, that, that, there's where they pressed it. You can see from yeah. there, there in yeah. press marks every centimetre. Yeah, it looks like they didn't quite. Because when you roll it, you have to have what's called green. You have to have a bit at the end for it to grab hold of. Yeah. And that's that's how much they need. The other and one looks much it. better though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll, this we'll might be it. the first one they did, and that might be like second yeah, or third or something. Yeah. It's, it's still the first pancake, isn't it? Yeah, it's still it's still an okay enough to yeah, yeah, no. use. I, I just think we shouldn't use it on the side. Three, three, seven. So after all that, we're left with a beautiful edge that we can weld. So right the way along the boat, nice shiny edge, probably at least, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, as wide as maybe two inches, all the way along, that allows us to weld onto it. So um, today we're going to get stuck back into the tubes and everything on the dinghy um, and we've got Rod here. So Rod's um, Malcolm's son. We just launched Malcolm's boat the other day on the videos um, and uh, yeah he's over for the day. He's going to give us a hand. We'll get all of these, um, hopefully get these tubes all welded onto the dinghy. Rod and Malcolm are from my hometown. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In, in Dunedin, New Zealand. It's like down in the south. Yeah. So you'll notice our thick accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear banjos wafting slightly. Hey! <laughs> Hey, Stop. Oh, that coming off might be yeah. a good idea. <laughs> Leave my fucking still alone. <laughs> bloody sticky fingers. Domestic over the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you turn all up in my face with your fucking camera. Where that tube stops. You know, if this is the tube and the other tube's like. Because like remember your this. tubes are kind of boxy. Straight. So like we cut, you know, off there. And then that's gonna be 
the other angle tube would probably run through like that, let's say. It's just this gap in here we have to fill in, which won't be too bad. It'll give yeah. you a bit more of a spray shine anyway. Yeah, yeah. When you're out there punching. A bit more stability six, up the front as well, eh? Six metre swells and yeah. that. Leaping. <laughs> Dame got his hearing tested um, the other week because we're curious whether he's lost and he's heading towards hearing loss. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. and you're quite good with uh, keeping your ears covered, but yeah, yeah, I'll you're still in too much See, noise. Think... One of mine is dropping away. The other's the other's okay still, but one's dropping down. Uh, My left hand side's dropping down. So one of the issues that we have when you convert an um, inflatable dinghy to an aluminium pontoon dinghy like, like ours is you don't have the flexibility on the alloy that you do on the rubber. So these tube, these here are basically put in so you get lots of support to for the, for the transom to basically act as a stabilizing component, but also so that you can have the rubber, you know, firmly attached. There's big pads to glue on and all that sort of stuff. Now the issue, when they make these, they obviously make this square to the transom, but the transom isn't square to the boat. So the transom sits on a bit of an angle, like this being the front of the boat, bottom transom, the transom's on a bit of an angle, which is good for, you know, boat control and all that sort of stuff, but, this here, if we put the aluminium tube into this and get it to fit nicely, the tube goes up on an angle like that, so it's square with this transom. Um, so we can't have that obviously because there's quite a bit of a gap when we do that, so we need to cut this all away. We're going to leave a small, maybe 10 millimeter um, strip, so just the width of the welds on the back. We're going to leave a small strip there and we'll weld directly to that. So this is the shape that we're left with um, once we're finished. And we'll cut away all of this excess. <laughs> the old uh, aluminium melting to the blade. You see how discoloured they are on the inside there, like all that. Yeah, in between them. This badass piece of equipment proudly brought to you by our mate Trevor. Thanks, Trev. <laughs> He's a lot more accurate than I am. What, you with your. <laughs> 95 mil. Me with my sort of looking at it going, oh, it's about there. <laughs> This is called measurement. <laughs> <laughs> three, one, two, and then three at the front there. You could hook a strop, like a three, you know, three-way strop thing to lift it up with one. Yeah, point. right. Yeah. Right, then doing that. Jet, too much shit on it. No, it might be down the edge in between the gap, eh? Yeah, should we, do you want to try a bit of lube on it or? Yeah, well, we might just see if we can flick that bit of shit out. See in between those. Yeah, gaps. right, right, right. Is that working? To some degree, yeah. We didn't put any um, like any lube or any any sort of anything to basically make these blades slippery. And the aluminium, it's got hot, and you can see it on these teeth. See that right in there? It's basically melted onto the teeth. Mm. It's um, it's a friggin' awesome tool because there's no kickback. It's like really because it they, is compared to a skill saw. They counteract actually pretty good. It's, yeah, there's no movement at all. Yeah, they counteract each other, so it's real sort of stable and it's kind of quite safe. But if you don't deal with that. It doesn't last very long. No, and also, well, part of the issue is the two blades being together as well, eh? Yeah, they, yeah, um, it's so fine, eh? 
such a small gap and the shit just gets stuck in there and just gets jammed onto each other. Well, mm. but it's a bit of a hard one because you use wax, it's hard to weld. You don't. You don't know where this from. <laughs> yeah, skills are there, there. Yeah. That's an alloy blade. Yeah, we're great at that. Just don't know how much depth you got, it's not real deep. Are we just about ready to tack tubes on? How long you want to make the tubes? Grab an end or one. Yeah. I was just like, so that's our front and these are our sides. Righto. Based Shrimp. on roundness. Yeah, I was thinking about 40 centimetres out the back. We'll just um so just check out if that end's got any wobbles on it. Pretty round? Pretty round, yeah. I think there's one that's okay. Have a look, see the middle, see the one on the right hand side over there at the end? Yeah, it's good. That's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah, this one's pretty good. So, what I was thinking is this if we can rotate it around, I was thinking of something like that, like put that weld right up against there. Yeah, there. See what I mean? Which is by far the best man of attack. Because then we've got a fair bit of stuff to weld on. This little foot out here is kind yeah, of pushing we'll have to it out. Cut that off slightly. Yeah. yeah. You can get, get, otherwise you'd get right in, wouldn't you? It looks like you're just like, it's the top. Yeah, right yeah, in. just that corner, in that corner, really. Break out the skills for again, we'll just take yeah. a little bit off, off of the bottom. Wow, that's that's the easy. trouble with leaving it long. It's just, like, because this bit here, you could easily get away with it. Yeah. It's like there's a slight bend. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. yeah, that it's beaten. Nice little pull it up. <laughs> I like how you put your pulls away nice and neat. Yeah. Better take some more off. Take a wee bit more off, reckon? Yeah. I reckon we can fill that up. Yeah, just go with it. There oh, there we go. Perfect, Perfect over here. You can fill that up. Yeah, easy. See? Yeah, this is the front, yeah. <laughs> just dump all that shit out. Do you want to just lift that one up? Yeah. Yeah, where that sheet ends. We're going to cut most of that off anyway, so. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame there. Well, we're cutting on a 45, so. See, that's pretty close. We'll just take a little bit off. It's that corner, eh? Yeah. Alright. Right, yeah. Wow, that one's better, isn't it? Yeah, that round there would be right though. You could tap that in anyway. Yeah, we'll just go down the end and tap that. The other side was, was bang on. No, the bottom's bloody good. Alright, just... why don't we just trim that top corner? Yeah. Happy 
that. And we've got enough meat on that that we can just whack it in with a hammer. Yeah. Really. So um, why don't we measure off where we want to start putting these tubes in and pack them off. Yeah. So with this so, one, because we've got, that's our shitty end. Just hold it back up here again. So at the front end, where do we want to start coming around? Because I don't reckon we don't cut these tubes at all. We just slide them back till they're in the right spot. So we probably we cut back. So, so about there is where the hull starts curving in. We but I'm thinking we, we maybe go here. Yeah, I'll slide that back. It's about sort of there. Quite a big gap. Are you in a tip? Yeah, yeah, we we'll can match that up. Match that up. Can we roll it down? That is yeah, pretty close to the way That's pretty good. Hi. So, I'm just gonna throw a pen mark. I wish you could get that weld right down that line. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, so that's pretty good there, eh? Yeah. It's gonna cost them three and a half Get new ones on. Oh really? Yeah. Jesus. And we that's where they went. Oh! We could use aluminium for the for the dinghy. What? Just say that this was from the scrap scrapyard. Yeah. And that one was from the donated. That was from the, the, the bloody skip over there and this one was forty bucks at the scrapyard. Oh it's skip? That one was out of the skip. Oh uh, the guys remember the couple donated it? Yeah they were gonna throw it at the skip. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, just lift this one up. Are you on the... Ah, go back slightly. Keep going back. Right. There. Okay. Oh, We've got to rotate it round to get that weld on. Right out. Other way, other way. Other way. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. Somewhere. That looks really good. Somewhere there. Can you see that weld? That looks alright there. Yeah, it looks yeah. really close. Alright, I'll just mark this one up on the line yep. and this one's two mil back so you're gonna have to fill it more than the other one unless you just rotate it slightly yeah we're gonna tap that up you happy with that yeah and then run a weld oh no what i mean is this is like perfect mil on that mil one gap, yeah and this is like back yeah this might be bent this is back a bit and yeah. it's up a little bit so this has got a quite a big gap compared to this one if you rotate it you'll you'll lose some of that gap that's what i'm saying okay like that yeah Yep, and yeah, you will have to just tap, push okay. up a couple of little spots, but All that's right. much better. So you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Much is half and half. So, so how are you gonna? You'd go to straight going across, right? No, this is about. Like, are you cutting like in sections and going? Not much. This one's not much of a curve, is it? No. This one won't be much. Like the amount we're gonna have to fill in here is gonna be bugger all. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a plate underneath. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll just plate it. this okay. in. Yeah. Right. Okay. I was thinking, shit, how are you going to get those rolls in? No. So, we've got, so, so we're going to put these two in, and then we're going to do the front one, and then we're going to join them, oh, like, yeah. link them up. But see, of course, this one, you're not going 100% level all the way through, are you? These ones mean? are going to be like yeah, that. Yeah, which, yeah. And like that, which makes life harder. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Boom. Where are you looking now? Uh -huh. Right, go back your way a bit. About there, roughly. Just roll the air like that. How's that? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's close. Do you want me to attack that? Yeah, attack it there, yeah. See what we're working with, eh? Because I reckon that that's probably not far off the angle, one. Right? You probably want to put that tube like that. We well, can probably measure that. Like, do a single one and measure it to something like that. Well, you point. need to measure it both off the transom. Yeah, both yeah. Wide. All right. So, should we figure out the front tube now, then? Yeah. Well, how wide do you want it? Yeah, I don't know, eh? Um, I don't. 
I don't reckon, I don't reckon we need to go much, eh? Go, go your way a bit. Because you think about it, you don't want a real big flat blunt front. Like I'm thinking probably only maybe, maybe 40, 400 mil. Yeah. And then, so there's going to be a lot of cut in on either side. That there's, that there's 400 wide. Where'd it go? So go centre here, go down to the centre on you. So that's sort of centre to centre, and that gives us our vertical as well. That's that one. How big is it? Three, four roughly. Go to that. Fucking hell, they're big inside, aren't they? So it's actually crisscrossing. Takes up a lot of internal room, eh? So I wonder if it's worth. We need to make that wider. Pushing it out for that. Yeah. Take up less internal space. Because all we can do is just add. Yeah. Reinforcing plate. And then our bits of plate that's put in the corner, they can go, they'll go. Just follow the angle up almost. Yeah, so there's your 300. That's getting close to not interfering with the boat. You're still following that line through, you're still pretty much going to join on plate. You'll only have about that much either side. Yeah. But see, it doesn't matter so much, it's on the front of the boat for like no. driving up for stuff. Yeah, it? yeah. I was just a bit nervous about having a real big flat wide front. I was just sort of thinking, you know, going into waves, you've got a big flat bit punching into shit. But I suppose we don't really have a choice, do we? We end up filling up the dinghy with tubes otherwise. Yeah. And we can always knock these corners off, if they're too sharp, we can always knock these corners off with a slither, you know? Yeah, so we can sit there up with the pipe for what it is currently. Like that? Yeah, or we'll open it and see what's going to be like. <laughs> Make the noises. <laughs> Make yeah. boat, boat noises. The trouble is, you'll sit on them, you'll sit on one and my shit ass tacks will give way and the whole fucking thing. You, all tubes the, and dinghy will go off. All the yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's not one piece of this equipment here that's that's rated for early testing. So that that is pretty much yeah. So that's pretty much flush. Put that there, and then where? So that's where that inside of the tube would be. Yeah. So your tube is going to be across there like that, roughly. Hmm. See what I mean? You kind of lose most of this front end here. And the alternative? Well, or the alternative is wider. We'll roll that through. The roll forward. it forward. Roll it forward, or make it wider, and we extend this out so into flats. These tubes here slowly get less and less of an angle. Yeah. So that will take that less. Forward. But the trouble, the trouble with doing that is the front becomes more and more like a big flat, round thing to punch. Oh. If you go more out, Slightly the front's still forward. a triangle, but you end up with a flat bit. And so you can cut these further back. You're just going to end up doing that. You're going to end up narrowing up the front. We don't want the front. So we don't want this tube to be too wide across the front. Yeah. We want to keep the height in this, and then we want to keep the width in here. So it's just a matter of figuring out the best of all three. Yeah, yeah. Which is the further apart we get the two tubes inside, the better. Yeah. Well, basically, yeah, height of this and the further part we can get the two tubes is probably better. Like, well, I'd say, you know, at the most, we're probably going to get a 100mm gap in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the criteria. Then, really, it's getting the much straight in there as possible, yeah. right? Yeah. So, let's do that. And so, I, I reckon we cut it at 600 and we just square that up and tack it on. Yeah, we're going to yeah, fly. Yeah. It's important to have 
silvering already, you don't need to put grey through. <laughs> James going um silver. Is he? Here, yeah. yeah. It's a bit rough. Apparently his father did at 40, so James coming up to 35. Like Santa. So. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. So we're ready to chop it. So, let's mark up a center line on the boat and on that. And if you just. Down welding. <laughs> That's the one I flipped off here. Yeah. I was yeah, like, right. watching it, it was like landed, but I was like, something wrong off. Nah. Like, no, it's not going to move, it's just going to burn through his shirt. And I was like, ooh. So I have to. What's that say now? 925. So that's 913. Nine, so that's going to go like that slightly. Yeah. So that's about 918, nine 920. Yeah, we're pretty close. We're just. Yeah. It's going to. That's probably going to pull off. Should we throw another tack on? Uh, can I grab the jacket? Yeah. We'll have some, do some mass, shall we? Some, yeah. some thinking. Because it's close enough to sort of have a rough. Yeah. Yeah. Because we might need to like roll that. Yeah. You know, I'd say we're going to want to is actually roll that quite substantial bit forward. Yeah, right. Yeah, those are quite different because the water's going down them. Yeah. Not. Yeah, yeah, into them. I suppose they're also providing lift as well, like, as the water comes up. Well, it's going down again, yeah. yeah. Like spray chine and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But see, like so that, there's not too bad. It'd be... Nah. Like, if a wave hits that, if a wave hits that, it's going to take a lot for it to get above the wave, but it's going to provide it's a lot of lift. Down, and down. It, yeah. It's almost level right across the bum from the tube to the center to the tube. Yeah. So like what we got here is not too bad at the moment. That's alright, that's that's heavy. Shit loads of space inside. If you you stand there but we need to get her a consent yeah. we chop up her dinghy. <laughs> it always it always pays to check with your wife that she's happy with the dinghy that we're building for her. Yeah, because she wants a step to get in and out of the front. Yeah, so, so that would be good to be able to step down and step yeah, in and yeah. Be able to put plenty of anchor and rope yeah, and bags yeah. and yeah, dog, dog, yeah, dog seat. Yeah, nice. Let's go and get her get her approval. Run across roughly along the edge. What we're there. thinking, we've got to mark somewhere there, right? So if you imagine this line, see those there. this out of mark and that out of mark. That's where the tubes would join into. Yeah. So that's how much in an external space you lose, right? So it's not then not a massive amount. And then we'll modify that to fit in halfway up each tube. Yeah, lovely. So you end up with a, and we'll do a back on it, so you end up with a big, big storage area at the front. Yeah. Dog Step. and Jess there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's cool. You happy with that sort of layout? Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. Alright, shall we um, start? Yeah. You could even stack batteries in there as well. Yeah. Oh, you could put batteries battery in each corner yeah 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 your batteries gonna be the sort of car battery size small car battery size each yeah one. so you could get one in here and one in there like that yeah. possibly and then it still gives you this space to put i just had a thought it's aluminium tubes we fucking 
open one up and stick a battery in each one. Yeah, well, you could, <laughs> you could do that. Yeah, I know, I was just thinking there's no, you like... cut them up about here. Yeah. 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 Slot it in. And then, but the only problem is you're going to have to put, um... Yeah, yeah. Bulkheads in. Yeah. Because you don't want them. No, you don't want it to be watertight axle, but it's dope. It'll work quite good. Yeah, get it out of the actual dinghy itself. Yeah, because I must admit, like, the cleaner you can keep your floor, like, as I say, if you put them in here or in yeah. the tube or yeah. just putting them in the floor, it is going to be pain in the ass. Annoying. Yeah. We're not sort of bound by the normal things of an inflatable anymore. That's right, yeah. Yeah, cut one and stuff. Yeah, okay, how that. long do we cut it though? Well, it's not going to be any longer than that. Do you know what I mean? Because if you, like if you match, like if that's your tube, right? Yeah. You're going to be trimming this one that way and that one that way, right? But it's not going to grow anymore. Do you see what I mean? Like that edge is going to be there and there, and then you go half and half across the two of them. And same deal here. It's not going to get any longer that way, but we'll be going half and half across the two of them that way. Yeah. See, we know we're hundred percent sure where that's going to be. Yeah. And we're going to use and that point there. We're, we're better off to go with the outer edge. 115 degrees apparently. So what we're, what we're trying to do is, obviously we can't just leave these ends square, we have to cut them off on a taper on both ends of this tube. I'll get rid of that. So we have to cut a taper on both ends of this tube so that we can put this one in with the equal and opposite taper so that we end up welding basically a circle as opposed to two mismatched um, oval shapes. If you're trying to join two tubes and you're joining them perfectly square and straight, you want to cut them square and straight so that they'll link up. But as soon as you start putting like a, a bend into them like that and you're trying to get them to join on an angle. And you can see on this, you yeah, can see the there's quite a, where the, where the, this tube has to go here. here right? Yeah, so, so the inner edge will be there and the outer edge is, is out over here. So we have to cut like an angle across like this that is halfway between the maximum. So this angle here is 115 degrees. So we have to cut a 57.5 degree angle across there in order to get the two, on, and we have to do that on both tubes and then join them together in order to get one weld all the way around and that'll link up. And this one here, what angle are you doing on that one? Uh, so this is 20 degrees, so we're doing a 10 degree um, cut across there. And then that, that theoretically, so a 10 degree here and a, and a 57 and a half here should theoretically allow one pipe to link these two up without and some it. some of the issue is how, how low, how, how far do you put this into the boat? You lose, start losing space and yeah. how, how do you do the curve without losing too much space? And so because these are not at the same height as well, so this one, this front tube is, is much higher than these side tubes. You can see it on the yeah. 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 So you look at that. That there, you can sort of see the distance, like between the top of there and the bottom of there, is quite a lot. So it's a lot of figuring out. So what we need to do in order to get that, in order to get that to work, is you can't, you can't say have a piece of tube like this and cut 10 degrees and 57.5. You actually need to have 10 degrees here and then rotate the tube slightly and cut 57.5, and that's how you get the angle up and down. So well, yeah. there's a shitload of maths to figure it out. So what are you actually on right now? What do you figure well, we out? figured out our angles, and now we've got to figure out how do we duplicate that across onto an aluminium tube. Right. So where, where do you cut to get the angle that you're needing for the join? That is the sixty-four thousand dollar question. <laughs> it's incredibly simple, but unbelievably difficult. What we can do, okay, hang on. If we find centre and centre, right, and we've got our angle climbing up, we can then go at a right angle off that. See what I mean? Oh, thank you. Right now we've got to figure out how to do this bit. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Right? Yeah. If we cut if we cut 57.5 and 57.5 and then undo the tack and we can rotate that to suit ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Mm. My thinking was we cut this off yep. on 57 degrees, cut that off, yep. 57 degrees. Stick the two together on the ground so they're perfectly flat. Oh yeah. And then we just lift it up here. Ah. And we can just. Mm. And then we just jig these ones. We just rotate this. And this ends up where it ends up. And this ends up where it ends up. Nothing. But all, those are just. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Idea. Let's let's 57 these, and we don't have enough to do the second tube. No. So we can't. Fuck. So that idea isn't working. Really? You don't? Yeah. No, we'll have to get one more tube made. Yeah. That's tomorrow. That was a great idea. We could do one side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's do that. At least we can do something then. Yeah. End up two thirds of a boat. Yeah. No, that sounds good. 
That's what we'll, we we'll be we'll be we'll be ship shape on one side. Yeah. <laughs> this is the gate. Yeah. Well, this is the gate. <laughs> The boarding ramp. Yeah. <laughs> See, what would actually be very good to do as well would be to fill. Um, I suppose actually, what now uh, you? Um, what are you thinking? Separate compartments. Yeah. Right. Didn't see. So do a bulkhead or something. Yeah. Well, at least that way, if you run into a rock, you're like, oh, well, I hit a rock, my boat's half full of water, let's go. Yeah. Whereas you run into a rock like this, yeah. Like, all your tubes fill up. But, but yeah. see, what might be a better option is buy a heap of closed cell foam fill up. and then weld the whole front together, weld all this together, and just and jam them. a shitload yeah. of closed cell foam up here. Yeah, yeah. And then. Well, push it well away from this, yeah. and when you weld it up, yeah, 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 you won't hopefully yeah. set it all on fire. So, is it, so and don't do bulkheads. Yes, you're, you're thinking. Well, you could do bulkheads. Yeah. But if you don't want to do bulkheads. Yeah, yeah, right. You could put. I'm assuming bulkheads are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, the problem is you weld a bulkhead in here. Everything's going to rip. It's going to ripple. Yeah. You'll notice it. Yeah. But you could just get those pool noodles. Yeah, just yeah. Jam it up. Jam them in. As far as you can reach up. And, and it's just a well, backup. You just get a stick and yeah. stab yeah. them in there. And that way, and that way, if you ever do hit a rock, you're not, you're never going to sink. Yeah. Well, a hundred percent. Like worst comes to worst, it's pretty hard boat, to get rid of it. Your yeah. boat's going to be full of water. You've got something to hang on to. Yeah. yeah. You know that's worst case scenario. Actually, that's a good point. Hanging on. There's like nothing. I'm just like. You need a little handhold. Okay. All right. So we've got. Do you reckon we've got enough sort of knowledge on this to do Pro one pipe? Probably not. Wicked. <laughs> should we do it anyway? <laughs> Probably. You're yeah. getting another one, you can always start again. Yeah. Just make that. Yeah, if we're fucking up, we get longer. another tube. Alright. So if we're sure on this 57 degrees. Well, how, how confident are we of that angle? I don't know. Because that's what it comes down to. Yeah. So, where's our, where's our bit of wood? Just oh, that one. So it's zero. That's zero. 115, bang on. So what's half 115? Is, that's our answer. Which is 57. Yeah. 45. So we can cut it. Yeah, now we need to figure out how the fuck do you get 57.5 off that. Simple. Measuring this way, 20 mil. Ah, good man. See what I've done over here? Yeah, I see what you've done, good man. Lovely. Oh, yeah, there's tape measure in the thing. Nah, not one of those ones. Oh, like yeah, actual, oh, right. like, you know, the doctor or something. Got you. Use. Got you. Like a sewing one? Yeah. Yeah, like a sewing one. Yeah, one up in the like a flat tape roll out one. Mark, right, so if I go there, then it should be one centimetre. Which is right there. Yeah. Yep. Eight minus five, which is three. Yep. So what we're left with. So this is our point of truth. We come up two centimetres or 20 mil, and then from that point every five centimetres or 50 mil all the way around. And then we can come out, you can sort of see the line that we're marking all the way out. And what that gives us is if we take a line, straight line all the way through those, that gives us a 57.5 degree bend. So see if we can wing that. More damage. Right. 19. Now that we've gone around, we've marked each of these segments, we could just basically go through with the steel edge ruler and um, mark it off to make sure we're getting that same accurate sort of dimensions that we had at the other end. 
once we've done that, we'll draw the line across it, we'll get the skill saw back out, we'll go and trim it so that we've got both ends the same. And then we'll So, why don't we make this tube and weld it to that, so it's square to that, and mm. then we can, do you know what I mean? Just roll it. Yeah. Till we're happy. Yeah. And then we can go right over Trim this one. Yeah. As needed. Go. That's the angle. <laughs> one upset dog. Yeah. So hang on, where's our... So where's our centre? We need to start halfway up from the bottom. That well I'm thinking, because what I'm thinking is the centre of this one, if we make that at the top our centre, right, because, and the reason being is because we've got this overlap at the bottom to try and keep on the bottom the whole way around. 've been spotted fluffy dog he's upset but he don't want to go outside and be upset you're gonna sit in comfort and be upset. Yeah, everyone's left him <laughs> first there was too many people and dogs and now everyone's gone So I wonder if we could actually, we could tack it at the mark. Yeah, and then just twist it. Yeah. About there somewhere, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's a 10 degree cut, but we have to do it at a slight, like we've not one slightly rotated in order to get this to come up. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So, how the hell do you figure that out? How do you figure it out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, first up, you want to make sure you get the sort of roughly position in front. Like I say, if it's up and through, it's sit on. We could just keep creeping it back. Yeah, because right. we know that that has to stay true and level, yeah. and we know the height. And we just you want that running up little bit. So yeah. if you put that in there, then you mark around there, and then you take it out and put yeah. it in there. If we cut that off, we might be able to slide it off that way. Yeah. Because the tack's way back here, so we should be able to get it in there. And then we'll do another slice and another slice and we'll keep stacking them in. But this job is a marathon, not a sprint, so we've decided to end there for the night and take Mish to the beach. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Clubs into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Tell the secret place for you and me Let our minds be 